Hey there, it's Mark with Mark's Astro Journey, and in this brief video, I'm doing a quick walkthrough of equalizing backgrounds using the linear fit option within Pix Insight. You can see here that I have the stacked images from the red filter, also the green filter, and the blue filter. I've already done the pre-processing we would do before combining the channels. One of the things we want to do before combining the channels using something like channel combination, there are other ways to do it, but that's one of the easiest ways to do it in Pix Insight. We'd also want to equalize the backgrounds because as we know, each different filter is going to have a different transmission of light and therefore a different inherent uh, brightness level. So we want to equalize those backgrounds and we want to do that before we combine these three stacks into a single RGB image using the channel combination option. But one of the things we want to understand before we use linear fit is which one of these stacks has the lowest brightness level. And and the reason this is important is because although many people recommend using the brightest image when you're doing a linear fit as the reference image, what's going to happen if we do that is it's going to scale the dim images to match the brightest image, right? But that's also going to have the side effect of scaling the noise in the dimmer images, resulting in, in you know more noise or, or a noisier final image, which we don't really want to do that. So what we really want to do is use the image that's not the brightest, or in other words, the dimmest image is our reference image. And so you can see that when you open up the linear fit process here in PixInsight, you can see that it does have this option to choose which should be your reference image. And so we would choose one of the three, right? And the way we want to make that choice properly is we want to use another option here within PixInsight, Image Inspection and Statistics. And what this lets us do, it lets us choose each of our images that are open and we can see statistics on the image, right? And this median value is what we want to focus in on for this purpose and we want to see which one has the lowest value. So going back again from the beginning, here's blue, there's the median value, and green, and then red. To make this a little easier, I put these side by side in a document, and this way it's easier to see them and compare the values instead of switching back and forth. And so we can see that blue has a value of 0 0.0110252, which is lower than both not, not by a lot, but is lower than red. It's also lower than green. So we will use uh, blue as our reference image. And so back to Pix Insight, we can actually now close the statistics because we have made that determination. And we go back to linear fit. And you could save these icons over on the right for these options and not have to be I'm going through the menu, but I thought I'd just show it uh, for the purpose of the walkthrough. So here we can see uh, which one we have chosen as our um, reference image. And again, we want to choose blue because when we compared our values, we saw that blue had the lowest median value or it was the dimmest image. And so we've chosen blue as our reference image. Then what we can do is we can just drag this triangle onto the other two images, and this will linear fit those images. So I've dragged it onto the green stack, and then we'll also drag it onto the red. And then as a result, what we should see is that if we compare the image statistics again, we should see that they're fairly close now. So let's take a look. Now we have red, which has a median value of 0110220, green 0110255, and blue 0110252. So we can see now that it made the adjustment with the linear fit process, and they're very close. They're not identical, but they're very close, close enough for us to do our channel combination. So that's how we would use our linear fit tool to go ahead and equalize the backgrounds in our three stacks and get them ready to combine using something like channel combination within Pix Insight. So I thought I would also show you the outcome of the post-processing. I think I captured something like four to five hours of LRGB data on the California Nebula. And here you can see the final processed image after doing all the post-processing. Uh, at the time I did this imaging session, I didn't have any narrowband filters. And I plan to do this target again with narrowband filters. And I hope to see, um, you know, if I can get a little bit more detail out of such an 
imaging session. But I think for four or five hours of LRGB data, this uh, image turned out pretty decent of the California Nebula. Please post any comments you have with suggestions for the proper use of linear fit or lessons you've learned after working with that tool within PixInsight. And if you have any also comments about the California Nebula and suggestions for imaging it properly or ways you found techniques you found in the post-processing that really brought out the data, please share those for the benefit of anyone else viewing the video. If you enjoy videos on amateur astrophotography, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And I do videos from time to time about imaging sessions, but also about uh, different tools that I'm using in the post-processing or during the imaging sessions. So some of these videos uh, might be helpful to you as well. Um, you know, I'm on this journey to learn about this hobby and the different ways to improve. And it's always good to hear feedback from other people who are also either on the journey or have been doing it for quite a while. And they can share, you know, some of the things they've learned, which helps all of us to improve our skill set. Wishing you clear skies.